Hello everyone and welcome to the second devlog uh, in the series uh, for our supermarket simulator game in VR. Uh, in the first video we talked about the checkout system uh, that you see here on the left. Um, the only updates that we did to it is the screen. As you can see it's currently off. You have to be in front of it to turn it on. Uh, so that's because we are using stereo layers and uh, stereo layers kind of like render on top of everything. So if I put my hand in front of it, you'll see that it is being rendered on top of it. Um, I think we have a solution for it. Uh, it's still experimental that we are trying, but uh, yeah, it will definitely be updated in the future. So the reason we turn it off is that when I'm far from it and then I put my hands or like a wall or something, it will still be rendering on top of everything. So that's why it's off. Um, now we have uh, the new system, that's mainly for the first system, for the new system. Um, so the checkout counter is basically the last step that you need in a supermarket because that's where the users or the customers will buy the things and then you will just um, you know sell them and then that's it. But in order to get the products, in order to make expansions, in order to make upgrades, you need an interface that you can use uh, to do that. And that's why we have our computer system here. So the computer system is constructed of three parts, the chair, the screen, and the mouse. Um, as you can see, the screen is also similar to the other one. It will turn on once you are uh, near from it. So the chair system uh, is basically a way for us to kind of lock players in front of a screen. Uh, you see that in um, a lot of 2D games on, on like simulator games, you'll see that uh, when they use a screen, they kind of like switches to that screen. So that's basically what we have here. But I think it's more important than essential to do it in VR because, um, you know, we have different heights. If I said I want to put this table at this high, then someone might be, you know, taller or shorter. And that will, um, you know, it, it will break the game for them. So that's why we need a system to kind of like lock the player in a specific uh, location, um, you know, to make sure that the, the game is playable for uh, everyone. So uh, as you can see, it says press A to sit. If we press on A, we are currently locked to the chair and then the screen is directly in front of us. So, um, one thing to, to note on the system is that now you cannot move uh, using the thumbsticks. You can move in your chair, you know, to uh, if you're gonna change uh, your location, but moving in the game is, is locked. You can also cannot teleport because we have a teleport system also ready. The only thing that you can do is that you can do everything that is required for this system. So, you know, you have your animations still, uh, you can grip stuff, um, you can move your hands, your head, and so on. So, um, yeah, that's mainly it for the chair system. You can also jump out using the same button. So it's just sit and stand. It's something really quick that you can do also if you are, like, doing a lot of multitasking. Uh, it's much better than kind of, like, you know, leaning to, to reach something. So the second system we have is the mouse. Uh, it's a grippable... Uh, mouse and as you can see uh, I can move it and then it will also move in uh, the screen um, in the monitor which is I think a better way to handle like uh, uh, like any widgets uh, especially in VR you want to have like a very immersive uh, way to um, you know to play the game so uh, for the other screen it was lasers because that's basically what we can do there because we either have like a touch screen, which is going to be much difficult to do, uh, especially because like uh, the hands is, is moving all the time and that will could cause a lot of uh, unwanted effects. But for here, it's very stable system that uh, we are doing. So yeah, it's very cool uh, and immersive. So uh, now we have, uh, first of all, our balance here. This is how much uh, money we have in the game. Uh, this is the date and um, the time. It's still not updating correctly, uh, just because I didn't uh, hook it up correctly. But uh, yeah, we have three applications. Uh, the first one is for the market. Uh, here is where you buy uh, your products. And then manage is where you manage uh, your inventory. If you want to see how much you got from each product and so on. 
And then the upgrades, if you want to either expand or upgrade your uh, supermarket. So um, we have only the market currently ready for uh, this week. So if I click on it, uh, you can see we have uh, many different products over here that uh, you can order from. And uh, we also have like categories here. So you can sort out only drinks and only food. Um, it's also something um, uh, you can get them all. Uh, and then we will add a lot of tags or, um, you know, tabs, categories uh, in the future. So, um, yeah, for each product, you have uh, its name. You have the store type. So uh, those biscuits are stored on a shelf. Uh, for example, um, the cigarettes are stored on a cigarette shelf. So you have to have this in the supermarket before ordering it. Um, and then the, we have a fridge uh, as well for uh, the drinks. Um, the system for checking if you have a shelf or not is still not ready because you see we still don't have that in uh, the, the game. But that will be definitely added uh, in the upcoming weeks. And then we have units. Uh, units represent how many units you get from this product in a package. So when you order this, uh, you will get a package full of items. Uh, like, for example, the biscuits, you get like six or seven packs. But uh, those numbers are going to be calculated using, um, you know, first of all, we have to make our packages. Uh, you know, we, we should have different size packages. And then we see how much does it, f um, you know, fit uh, in... Uh, in the package so that will be updated later on once we get that system ready and then we have basically the cost of this package so let's start ordering you can see that uh, the cart is also updating so let's get a chocolate jar let's get some drinks and let's get uh, you know some water i get three small bottle waters and two waffers and uh, yeah, let's get some rice. Cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can now jump to the cart. You will see uh, everything that we ordered is here. We got like two offers, uh, two water bottles. All of that are uh, in here. So you can also update it if you want to more or less. And you can see here on the right side, we have like the item costs, the shipping cost. Uh, the total cost and then the balance that we currently have and then the remaining money that we get uh, or we will have uh, after ordering. So yeah, let's do this order. You'll see that the balance updated and uh, yeah, we have ordered those items. Um, that's mainly it for this system. Uh, let's get some expensive products. I think those juice are way much expensive. So let's get a couple of it. Uh, you can see that the order total is 99 and we don't have that money. So let's see what happens if you want to order it. Yeah, uh, it says not enough money. So you either have to remove it or go down until you get enough money. So we do have enough money for this. So it did the purchase correctly. Uh, all right. So that's mainly it for the system. It's uh, just a like immersive way to kind of like do your management stuff um and uh yeah that's that's pretty much it uh thank you everyone for uh watching this video and uh thank you for the kind comments on the previous uh video i hope you guys enjoyed this one as well and uh yeah feel free to jump uh, on our discord channel uh if you want to add more ideas or if you have uh, kind of like a feedback to those two systems um, the thing is that we still don't have a lot of games in VR that does uh, similar things. So I'm kind of like improving most of that, uh, like those systems, the ideas. So if you have uh, a new ideas that you want to have in the game or like uh, recommendations, just feel free to jump on our Discord and uh, yeah, share that with us. Um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.